Hi, uh, my name is Robert Adams. I'm a lawyer in Chicago. We also cover the entire Northern District of Illinois. This video is about how to stop a foreclosure, how to prevent a foreclosure. When a mortgage company seeks to foreclose, it must be very scary and frightening for the average person. What do you do? Well, I'm gonna discuss a couple of the options that you have. Well, first of all, you do have the right to file an answer and do discovery and various other things in state court. Now, basically, this is used to extend the time of the foreclosure, to keep you in the house as long as possible. Generally, it is not a permanent solution to save your house. But many people do that. And it's a good idea if in, you realize in the long run, you can't save your house. But I'm here to talk about permanent solutions. The first one is a loan modification. Sometimes it's called a mortgage modification or something similar to that. It's where we make an application to the mortgage company to change the terms of the mortgage. One, they'll to put the arrears at the end of the mortgage or extend the term of the mortgage. So rather than a 30-year mortgage, you may have a 35-year mortgage. Sometimes they'll change the interest rate to make it more favorable to you. And frequently, they'll forgive all or part of the arrears. You have to be in a position to make your regular mortgage payment and otherwise live. The aim is that your mortgage be, is current. The two other ways I want to discuss involve Chapter 13. There's a, a traditional Chapter 13. And I'll discuss the other one in a moment. You're back on your feet. You have a regular income. You can make your regular mortgage payment. You have enough money to cure the default over a reasonable period of time. Three to five years even. You have enough money to live after you make these payments. And also, you consolidate all your other debts. So you only have one payment per month, plus your mortgage payment and your living expenses. This is a very good way of saving your home. Now, the second way involves where it's not practical. We had the pandemic and a, mor a mortgage foreclosure moratorium that lasted two, sometimes three years. The arrears is just really too large to cure in a reasonable period of time. Here is you file a chapter 13 and we do an immediate application for mortgage modification. What is needed, you have, you have obviously have to have a regular income. Uh, you have to make your regular mortgage payment as it becomes due immediately following the filing. You do not have to cure the mortgage default. You will have to make some chapter 13 payments that should be fairly modest. You have to have enough money to live on. The aim again is to bring your mortgage current. So the question is, when you hear something like this, will it work? Well, the mortgage modification applications, particularly in chapter 13, have about a 70% chance of working. And remember, when you file the chapter 13, the foreclosure stops on a dime. It can't go any further at this point. 70% chance, a success seems like good odds, particularly if you have a 
really large default. What if it doesn't work? Well, you stop the foreclosure for a while, so you're not hurt by it. You can continue with the uh, chapter 13 to pay your other bills and it prevents a mortgage deficiency. You can convert your case to a chapter seven or you can dismiss the case. Whether you continue, convert or dismiss the case, you still have your same rights in state court. So it seems like a good idea to take advantage of this. We want to help you save your house, and that should be your aim. So I hope this video has been of some help. We are here to give you consultation and to start uh, the process, if you like. So give us a call at almost any time. Well. We do appreciate you watching the video. I hope it has been of some help to you. And God bless you.